What are we going to do as a church? Our souls need to wake up. We need to respond to the gospel of Jesus. He said, go into the world. We don't want to deal with reality, Christian. We don't even want to deal with reality even though we've been saved from this place. I'm calling on you today in the name of Jesus to rise up to the call of God. Christ is coming back soon. If I start telling people about hell, I might just scare them off. Where are you going to scare them off to? Hell number two? People stop and think about it. If hell really exists, and it does, I didn't say that Jesus did, then don't you think people need to know about it? Can't you at least give them a fighting chance? Or are you just going to sit there and let them burn? Hey, this is Chris from Don't Let Them Burn. Welcome to our show. Tonight we're going to we run down about uh, 2016, all the hottest topics. But first, uh, just want to let you know that you can find us on DontLetThemBurn.com. You can find us on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter. Hey, just get in contact, ask questions. Um, and, um, you know, if you have any comments to, to feedback to give, just let us know. And so, hey, Rory. Denise. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> doing great. Hey, how are Good you? Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Denise. How are you? I'm great, and you? Good. Looking forward to a wonderful show. Oh, yes. This is going to be uh, not the typical type of show. It's going to be very rapid fire. We're going to spend some time on a few subjects only. And, but we're going to run it down the line. Uh, some some of these stories we, we've never covered uh, because there was so much in the atmosphere in 2016. We just couldn't cover everything. And um, we're going to get into politics, uh, you know, entertainment, uh, technology, genetics, and just run it down the line. But before we start, Rory, would you like to lead us in a word of prayer? Sure. <clears throat> Lord God, first of all, uh, the first Thursday in uh, 2015, I'm sorry, the first Thursday in 2017, we really just want to thank you, Lord God, for being able to see another year that has passed. And Lord God, tonight we come to you, Lord God, not of ourselves, but by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we just ask you, dear Lord God, to continue to cover us, continue to lead us, continue to guide us, be our front guard, our rear guard, our side guard, oh Lord God. Lord God, that the things that we do here will just honor and glorify your name this year. Lord God, you have great and mighty plans for this coming year. And we sub we just lift them up to you, O oh Lord God. We lay them at the feet, at your feet, Lord God, that you will continually lead, guide, and protect us, O oh Lord God. Lord God, we also want to pray a blessing over the listeners that they will come to a more deeper, more committed relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, not because of what we are saying, that they would search your word and see the truth that lies in your word for themselves. That, Lord God, they won't be just hearers of the word, but they will also be doers of your word. Lord God, for tonight's show, dear Lord God, the topics that we are going to talk about, <clears throat> everything that we are going to speak about, everything that we are going to share, that it will only bring honor and glory to the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua, the Prince of Peace, El Sh um, the God who provides for us, the Son of God who has laid down his life for us, Jesus Christ, dear Lord God, the mediator between God and man. We just want to thank you. We just want to praise you. We just want to glorify you with all the things that we do here. And Lord God, that again, people will come to find out who you are, that they will not listen to other people, but they will seek you for themselves. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right. So uh, we have 
the chat room open. If you want to go in there, anyone that's listening, uh, we have the chat room open. If you want to, you know, give us a message or anything like that. Um, um, Rory, I don't know if you're logged in on your side. To the chat room is kind of moving kind of slow <laughs> no. over here. I don't know why. Okay, <laughs> I will. I okay, will, it's loaded. Um, log in. Okay, it's loaded. Uh, okay, all right. So let's roll. We have. Let's talk. Let's talk about Fukushima. Fukushima happened, and it was a big disaster in Japan. It it, it poisoned the waters. Uh, some of that radiation is 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 coming over here to America, um, killing our uh, fishes and or poisoning our fishes uh, that some of us are ingesting. But a more peculiar thing happened in 2016, where the fuel rods from Fukushima reactor number four, to be precise. It's, it's, it went into the earth it and it disappeared. If if you know anything about reactors and you know physics and you know the, the math math of all that, is that these things don't stop; they just keep going, and no one knows where where it is or if it's going to come back or whatever. But it's a very important thing to to, to um think about. And I know we just can't spend too much time on it, but it's one of the biggest uh, incidents that happened last year. Rory, any words? Well, it's, it's one of the biggest cover-ups. Um, and when we looked at this, or when I did, I was doing some research on it, I found out that um, the radiation out west, Hawaii and those places, they have increased. Not only that, but the um, the debris from the tidal waves, um, started coming, or I don't know if it probably was in 2015, but they they were coming towards the West. <clears throat> I think at one point they found some play, um, some of the stuff um, close to Seattle. Mm. But the truth is not being told. The impact on the environment is not being told. But we are being impacted. And um, the news media is not necessarily talking about the fallout from the Fukushima accident and how it's impacting the rest of the world. And remember, um, if you go back and you look at um, the explosion that happened or the explosion that happened in Russia, it was only one nuclear reactor that exploded. Um, and the fallout from that. But this were, I think this is actually four reactors Right. Fuel rods in one, they're missing. Um, and it, it's an environmental disaster. Um, that's, that's number one. Number two, why would you build a nuclear reactor on a fault line? Uh, and we could go on and on, but I, I will stop there. Okay. Hey, well, you know, going along with this, um, and in fact, I just remembered about this. This wasn't in my notes. Uh, the explosion in China. There was a huge, gigantic explosion in China, and people caught it on their uh, cell phones. And uh, you know, a lot of uh, media cover had it had a lot of media coverage. And um, here at the BBC News, you know, China explosion, what we know about what happened in Taijin, and they said, how did the blast happen? They said they took. They took place at a warehouse at a, a port which contained hazardous and flammable chemicals, including um, calcium carbide, uh, sodium cyanide, potassium nitrate, ammonium nitrate, and sodium nitrate. Well, I'm not going to go into it, but um, if you want to look that up and see what happened. But the, the thing is, it's another environmental disaster. Those chemicals are toxic. And there are many people, there's, so, there's billions of people in, um, or is it one billion? Is the is the, uh, the count over there, Roy? And uh, uh, that's a lot of people in that, you know, large area of land. And it's going to impact people in a very, let's just say, cancerous way or and other things. Uh, it, it's just, you know, these disasters are coming more um, frequent along with, Earthquakes, which we'll talk about a little bit later. Anybody? That's something I'm. I don't have all the facts on, but um, what's the plan though? What are they hoping to? 
the only well, way I, I know was I don't think in, in, in these instances is, is necessarily a plan behind it. If there is, we don't okay. know. I just think that uh, the security measures aren't being followed. Something, you know, is not being followed to keep these hazardous materials or nuclear um, facilities intact. And, you know, there's a whole bunch of details are going with these, 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 two, these two situations right here. We just don't have the time. So, um, Rory, you have anything to say about this or you be silent? <laughs> All right. Okay. So, um, <laughs> no, no, no. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I would like to say that um, there's some speculation of how or why it happened. Um, some people are blaming other governments for how. Um, this explosion in, in Tijin. But, like you said, one of the things uh, or the fallout from the explosion is the amount of people that died. Some people were burned instantaneously. It was a massive explosion. It's unlike yeah. anything that they've, they, they, they said miles for miles and miles, windows were broken out. So um, <clears throat> was it just an explosion? that um, um, was a mistake? Was it an oversight? We don't necessarily know. I don't have the answers. I wasn't there. But it, it took place a year ago, um, about 12.30 p.m., they said, in Tijin. Mm-hmm. And, and, and here goes. We're going to go to a little weird, uh, since we're on environmental sort of things, uh, there have been sounds being heard all over the world. Um some of them are from earthquakes. Some of them are loud, what would seem like uh, angelic horns. No one knows and can pinpoint the the proximity of these sounds. And in fact, you know, some people, I, I don't even want to say they speculate on this area right here. It could be a very factual about um, people making underground uh, tunnels and mile for miles and and even at the place where i stay there was a loud boom on uh, like so, it sounded like a, somebody jumped on my roof i ran outside no one was there and um of course the area that i and we, we 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 get a few tremors here and there but it was happening all over the country and the world where it would sound like something jumped on your house or dropped on your house or weird noises all over the place. And, and it's been in the news. I didn't, I don't have a clip for it today, but it's been in the news um, more frequently than you would think. And so this is some of the things we have to think about, but, but these are big events that weren't necessarily covered as much as other events. Um, but there, a lot of them were very local news stations that were picking up these um, accounts. And then um, also, uh, wait, let me, before I go on, anyone has anything to say about that? Are these nope. all documented, um, Chris? Yeah, yeah. Are you can you find all the, doc- all the news. Okay. Yeah, you can find all the news reports on YouTube. Um, oh, okay. And it's all, all credible. Um, all credible. And then we okay. have, yeah, we have all of the uh, animals dying off. And the reports are coming out that a lot of these, die-offs like with the bees it's because of the gmo foods now not that's that it's not all of the animals now but with the bees it's been linked to the gmo foods and with some other animals but the reasons for a lot of these die-offs that this didn't happen in 2016 but 15 14 13 and on thousands and thousands of fishes and cows seals birds insects you name it dying around the planet and so if this Absolutely. keeps going the world's food supply <laughs> will be in danger I mean, we're not talking about just america uh, not, i'm sorry not america but people uh the, the food supply for people but we're talking about animals too because it's a big ecosystem where um some would blame this on global warming, which is a big old sham because scientists came out even in 2000 16 and said it's actually global cooling 
So which one is it? Which which is a lie? You have to find out for yourself and do your own research. I'm not going to keep going on in that track, but go ahead, Rory. Well, yeah, there have been a lot of fish kills that has ha- that has happened. Um, animals that going on for years. Not only the sounds, but if people look for yourselves and see some of the fish kills that have been going on in Florida, all across the United States, not even the United States, but around the world. Google it and see for yourselves, and you will see how um, how uh, fish, as far as the eye can see, are dying off. Um, <clears throat> Bo- um, sorry, Cocoa Beach Fish Kills Rally, uh, March 2016, so um, people are protesting because they they're want, want to know why, or some people are protesting because they want to know why the fish are dying. Um, fish kill in Union River, 10, 12, 2016. Um, this is going on all over, all over. Um, sorry, August 28, 2016. This is the Atlantic Highlands fish kill. So all you have to do is just go ahead and, and look, and you will see something is going on in the earth. The Bible says the earth is groaning for when Christ is going to return. The mm-hmm. whole earth, all of earth, all of creation groans because of what's going on. When will he return? Jesus Christ, the King of Kings. Um, I'm not going to go any further because we have a lot to cover. But hey, exactly. That's it. And so from there, we we go into earthquakes. The earthquakes have risen dr- drastically over the last hundred years, but 2016 was very significant. Um, we're we're starting to see more frequent magnitude in the ma- frequency in the magnitude, the height in the magnitude of the earthquakes. Now we're going from. Uh, Papua, New Guinea, Ecuador, Indonesia, New Zealand, Solomon Islands, Northern uh, Marina Islands, Chile, uh, South Georgia and South uh, Sandwich Islands, Russia, um, New uh, Caledonia, Alaska, um, Ascension Island, Japan, um, Vanuatu, um, New Zealand, El Salvador, and that and that's just a small list of of um. But these peop- these places had some of the biggest magnitude from a 7.9 and under to 7.0, right? And so mm-hmm. we see the frequency coming even more from January all the way down to the end of the year. There were frequency, yeah, the frequency has gotten bigger. You know, the, it's, it's, so, it's happening so much now. <laughs> it, some of the small ones are normal. The ones that we, people used to fear are normal now. And so the big ones, you know, happen more frequently. Frequently, and then you you see the Ring of Fire. If you go online, you look at where the Ring of Fire is. You'll see that you know California and uh, the, so a lot of these places that I just named are in that Ring of Fire. And so if you think about tsunamis and, and things of that nature, most of uh, they're, they're caused by earthquakes are you know uh, weather modification devices like harp. But we won't get into all that. Uh, any any words? Well, <clears throat> yes. Um, <clears throat> about these earthquakes that we see that are are coming on the face of the earth. You know, it talks about in Revelation, uh, just like I said before, Revelation six twelve. It talks about the earthquakes that are coming up on the on the earth. Revelation eleven thirteen. Revelation 16, 18, these are talking about there are going to be earthquakes, but not even to go uh, a little bit before that, Chris. You were talking mm-hmm. about the signs in the heavens and the disturbances that we are having. These are just all over uh, disturbances, and it, it's, it's the same thing we were saying before. The earth is groaning, mm-hmm. and this is what the Bible yeah. predicted over 2,000 years ago that we will see an increase in the earthquakes that we are experiencing today. It's not unusual. It's right. not 
um, it's not um, La Nina or it's not El Nino like they're seeing, the warming and the cooling of, of the earth or the waters. <clears throat> it's what God had predicted or, or prophesied thousands of years ago because of the evil in man's heart and what man are seeking to do. This is why we're experiencing the things we're experiencing today because of right. sin, the sin of man's heart. Yeah. And I'm not going to go any further. I'll just, we, we got to keep moving. I don't know if well, Shanice wants to say one, Yeah. Shanice? Yes, I'm here. Um, I don't have a comment on that just yet. Okay. Well, let me say one more thing about the earthquake situation. Um, as far as the 7.0 goes, in 2006, the most 7.0 to 7.9 they had was 9. And uh, by 2016, according to the chart that I'm looking at, it's 17. In 2010, it was 21. So we, it's not going back down to the 9s or below. It's going back. It's going up. Exactly. <laughs> and it, and, and it's, every, it's, 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 every place that you've named, though? Yeah. Every single place I named, oh. and that and that was a short list. That was a very short list. So, um, it's something to pay attention to when we think about the end times, uh, Bible prophecy, the second coming of, of of Jesus Christ, and where this world is headed. Because we have to look in in so many different directions. We we're looking at wars, rumors of wars, nations rising against nations, the the, the seas roaring, the earthquakes. Uh, the, the insanity uh, going on right now. Yes. You know, and, and, and um, we'll get into a lot of that. Go ahead. Um, 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 Chris, when you, when you talk about um, the earthquakes, all you are mentioning is you're mentoring, mentioning the ones that stand out, the ones that right. have a high magnitude. You're not talking right. about the amount of earthquakes in its totality that has happened in 2016. Mm -mm. It's a lot more. The frequency yeah. of, of earthquakes have, I don't even know, double, tripled, quadrupled. I am not, I can't, I don't have the chart in front of me, but I have seen the mm. chart where it has, it has grown by leaps and bounds. And, you know, if, if we don't, if you don't even want to open your Bible, you can't say, that it's not true because it's there. You can Google it. You can find it out on the news. You can go to YouTube and look at news sites where they're, they're explaining or they're giving you clips of all the earthquakes or the major earthquakes that have taken place in 2016. But there are so many more in diverse places, according to the word of God, in strange places. I think in 2016 or, or, or 2015, we had an earthquake in Washington, D.C., Remember mm -hmm. that where they have to put yeah. capital down. So yeah. these things are happening quite frequently in places that they're not necessarily supposed to happen. Not only that, we have sinkholes that are going on. I mean, I remember in Louisiana, they had a sinkhole a couple years ago. I think we talked about it in one of our first or second um, our first shows. But these things are happening more and more rapidly. Right. And, and some of the sink sinkholes that you just mentioned are pretty uh, scary to look at. They're they're very wide and very deep. Uh, people, you know, in Florida, you know, we, we get little sinkholes here and there, but we're talking about sinkholes that could swallow cars, houses, and you can't see the bottom. So, <laughs> you know, these are the things we got to think about uh, in these last days. Uh, at least some of the things, anyway. And so from here. We're going to get into some of the um, world, the things that are going on in the world last year and politics. Um, we'll just start with some of the shootings and then lead into uh, some of the other issues. Some of the shootings we talked about last, last week. We talked about the Orlando shooting. We talked about the connection between the Islamic uh, schools that these guys went to with the Dallas shooting, uh, Orlando shooting, the, the people that did those shootings. Um, then there's a Paris club shooting. So again, this is not in just in uh, America. This is worldwide. 
uh, we have Ferguson, which I can't get into it all right now, but not everything that happened in Ferguson, uh, the rights, and not everything was real. I'll, I'll just put it that way. Some some things were and some things weren't. Um, and that's, you know, we get into a fake news category. Um, any, anybody, anyone else has anything to say about the shootings? Um, well, I have shooting. I have the the British soldier soldier that was um slayed in in London on the um in the street. Mhm. So and he it, didn't get it, shot, but yeah, he was chopped, was right, or something like that. Yeah, he was chopped. Yeah, he was chopped, and I believe mm. and you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe it was um, I guess militant Muslim extremists. Yeah, I mean, from from all the news that came out this year, sorry, 2016, and the fact that a lot of countries don't even want you to say, including America, uh, Islamic terrorism. Mm-hmm. All of a lot of the, the, the incidents that happened were it tied back to Islam in some way. The 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 the, the truck that ran through uh, a crowd of people. Over there, was it in France, Rory, or or Paris? I can't remember, but it was Paris, over there yeah. in the UK. Okay, in Paris, and he ran over a whole bunch of people in the truck, and it and it happened again in another uh, part of the country. And say again, Germany. I think Germany. Is it Germany. Okay, I think so. Okay, and and so we we see this is why we have to watch the flood of immigration. And this is one of our other topics, because over in um, in Europe, over one million Muslims stormed into Europe demanding asylum, and what that ha- what that did was change the face of Europe. Uh, some would say forever. And the thing with Islam is they've always used immigration and violence to conquer. It's nothing new. If you go and look at the history. The, the real history, the deep history, you will see what we're talking about. Go ahead, Roy. Um, but if you talk to a Muslim, he says, he would tell you, Islam is a religion of peace. <laughs> um, and uh, we have seen where um, Germany has bowed. We have seen where a lot of the other countries have bowed. Most people in the, in the West don't actually know what's going on. There are parts in England where the likes of you and me are a woman wearing shorts. She can't even go there because right. uh, she'll be escorted out. Um, so we're we're talking about some of these things that have happened. And these are things that have happened. And I'm not trying to tell you about the dangers of, of Islam. I'm not, no, I'm telling you what has actually transpired. Okay, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. We exactly. found out uh, in Germany, I think last year, I think it was New Year's or somewhere uh, uh, thereabout, women were groped. A whole lot of women were groped. And um, so these are things that are happening all around. Um, however, most Muslims that you talk to will say Islam is a religion of peace. And all they have to do, yeah. the folks, is just go back. And look at the history. Look at how Muhammad went and conquered. And I'm not, you know, I'm just talking about the things, the exploits of Muhammad. Go and look and see. And then you'll be able to see it. <clears throat> and see for yourself. So they are right in line with what is going on. Um, one more thing, Chris, and then we move on. There was a clip that was played um, by CNN. It was after the parish um, shooting um, in the, the magazine place, I can't remember the name, um, Charlie Abdo magazine, the, sh- the shooting that took place in there, where they were basically defaming the Prophet Muhammad. And um, they, was a, <clears throat> they wanted to have a moment of silence in Turkey at a soccer game. Oh, yeah. And yeah. the thousands of people were in the audience, and instead of having a moment of silence for those that died in Paris, they all shouted, Allah Akbar. 
Yeah. So it did. Really? Yes. Yeah. And it's mm-hmm. on YouTube. Oh. And what it tells me is that listen, if you want to bury your head in the sand, thinking that um, Islam is is all about peace, you're misunderstanding. Go and look for mm. yourself. Don't take my mm. word for it. Go and do your own research. Go and look yep. what it's what it's like. Uh, in, in some of these other countries, and you will see for yourself. Yeah. And we could go on, but this this is 2017. We're going to be talking about some of these things, that's scary, some of these things that that have happened in the news, and and we're not even going to give you our my opinion. I'm I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm going to let the news speak for itself. Yeah. It, it's uh yeah it, it is a scary situation uh, especially for uh those countries that this is their reality we're we're we just felt the bird pangs over here last year with the uh teenage rapings and the guy that ran into the restaurant to um uh chop somebody up the the mall shooting uh all of them tied to, tied to Islam and, and so many others uh but here wait wait Chris the mall shooting yeah, right. that happened out in Seattle, I think it was, where they said the news came out and said they were looking for a Hispanic male. A Hispanic male. I can't remember where that was. It was right. Like yeah. Was. Yeah. And they, for days they were looking for a Hispanic. And I'm sitting there going, "What? Are you kidding me?" Even when they did the um, San Bernardino shooting, no one would say it's a terrorist act for days. Right. Yeah. For yeah. Days. Well. well yeah, <laughs> it, it's pathetic. And, and that goes into the next subject where, uh, you know, Obama and people around the world not being able to say, well, I'm not, not going to say not being able to say, but they're muzzling people from saying Islamic terrorists. We touched on it a little bit last week. You have to think, what are the motives of the leaders of the world? Because, again, this is about the stabilization of nations, because if you flood. Uh, countries with people that will spew terror, then it uh, and and then then we have the multiculturalism that's sweeping in. It it gets rid of a lot of patriotism. It brings brings distress, and just imagine ten maybe twenty years, thirty years from now, if that immigration process works, no one's going to care if you take down the borders. And if you make Canada and America and Mexico one nation, no one's going to care. But if we have patriotism and we have a pushback, then the powers that be, they can't they can't do what they want to do. Now I'm, I'm trying to simplify it so that you know everybody can understand. Because if we start getting into it, we'll just go on all night about it. So, um, but you know, wait, and then wait, wait, hold on, hold on, ahead. hold yeah. on, yeah. Mm-hmm. We can't leave. We can't leave talking about Islam with, without talking about this letter that Albert Pike. Albert Pike was the founder of. He wrote the book Morals and Dogma. He wrote mm-hmm. a letter to Manzini on August fifteenth, eighteen seventy one. Yeah, we talked about the three world wars that were to take place. Okay. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and look it up for yourself and read and see what it tells. But Albert Pike wrote about what would happen, he wrote about the three different wars and the last one and what it would be about. And yours, you will see that we are dealing with some of the same things that they wrote about. Correct. <clears throat> These things will have a chance. These things are planned. And any words, Trinis, before we move on? We're still going to be in the realm of Islam, but keep going. If you if you have anything no, to say, no, I have um, no words on Islam right now. Okay, all right. So um, Obama insisted letting in Islamic refugees into the country without vetting them, and he also sent 502 refugees into Nebraska unvetted. So you you're seeing all of these um, communities being set up in in our country where they're trying to enact what's called Sharia law. See, Sharia law is Islamic law, and once they get it passed, 
they don't have to go by American law. They don't have to go by the, the law, the land, the Constitution. And this is something that's very serious that everyone listening needs to go and research for themselves. It's been an ongoing thing over the last few uh, several years. Um, and get educated into what Sharia law is. Uh, just imagine. Or, or, you, you can ask any Muslim, too. You can yeah. ask any Muslim. Yeah. The Constitution and, yeah. or Sharia law, which one supersedes? And they will tell you the Sharia law. They're going to tell you that. Exactly. Um, and so get your education. If you she is a good Muslim. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Get your education up on, on what Sharia law is, because say, say for instance, if uh, Sharia law is established in, let's just say it's a, a neighborhood of, say, 30 miles, a Muslim can come up to you and say, hey, are you a Muslim? And you'll be like, and if you're a woman, and you say, no, he can rape you right there on the spot. And go about his day. He could chop your head off. Whatever he wants to do, because he's going by Sharia law. He's going by what the Quran teaches. In, in, in and, certain parts of London, you can't even go in there. Yeah. You can. Yeah. As, as a male. You can go and look on, on YouTube and see the Christians going to an event in, um, I can't remember what state it was, in, and they were heckled. They were spat at. Bottles were thrown at them. They had to have a police escort to leave the place where they were. But at the same yeah. time, Muslims want to go into churches. Yeah, yeah. And so that we could have, have this Christmas. On more mm-hmm. than one occasion. Yeah. And and just to imagine people, go, look up um, the commercials that are promoting Islam over there in the foreign countries that are saying this is a new thing and we need to accept it and even dress like them these are the commercials that are coming out. And and some places are trying to legalize what, what is, what's called a burqa. That's the thing that the, the women dress up in to cover up their face and, and, and everything except, except for their eyes. Yeah, the burqa and the, you have to wear the hijab. <clears throat> yeah. They're trying to legalize that in in certain places. And some, some places are giving some pushback. But we, we, we want you to know that this is a worldwide effort and you have to ask yourself why would they want this it just goes back to my other point it's stabilization multiculturalism it goes along with what we we talked about last week with agenda 21 and agenda 2030 and we can get into that another time when we're we're actually going to bring on some guests that have serious expertise in these areas um so moving along uh i think we're on the same route here um over uh, let me see uh, afghan opium harvest reached over one trillion dollars and i know this is going getting into some other different areas but it still has to do a little bit with islam but it also has to do with big pharma has to do with the drug trade has to do with uh shadow government one trillion dollars in opium it, yeah, it goes a long way <laughs> <laughs> that's and that's ending up here people. in the United States. Yeah, and like I said, big pharma because there's something called opioids, opioids, and they use uh, they prescribe these things to uh, people uh, that are in uh, certain, we have certain conditions and or in accidents and things, but they get addicted to it, so they have to keep them keep it coming. And so, so after, you, you, uh, go ahead. You guys, bro. About, you guys are talking about the legal drug. Let's talk right. about legal, the illegal drugs. Yeah, now, that too. <laughs> when soldiers were in Afghanistan, they could not burn those poppy fields. Right. They couldn't burn them because it would create problems. And one of the things that you realize that where, are, like, like Trinice just said, where is this stuff going? Where are they sending it? They're sending it for your kids. That's where it's going. Today, more than ever before, we have a major issue with people smoking weed. It has become commonplace. Okay? And if you want to really get down to it, you go back to the word of God, and it will tell you. People are into their sorceries. Sorceries is witchcraft. Sorceries, um, the word 
pharmacy or comes from the um the root word I think it's pharmakia, which it yeah. means sorceries. People are into their sorceries. So we have worldwide drug abuse that's going on today. Mm. And then with them are, um, drugs are legalizing not on a regular basis. marijuana. What's that? I say now they legalizing marijuana, they making it more acceptable. Well, yes. In, in, in Dade uh, County, Florida, it used to be a, a real serious problem. Now they downgrade it to a, like a misdemeanor or you'll get a ticket for a certain amount of grams. But this is <laughs> happening all across America because yeah. they're they're looking um, to change these um, these these activities. You know, Revelation 9.21 talks about this, how People are, have been turned over to their sorceries. And if you want to know something else, drug use goes hand in hand with witchcraft. You see, yep. if you go back and look at the shamans, what the shamans had to do to, to get the out-of-body experience, they had to take drugs, and it opens up the third eye. And when it opens up the third eye, that's how they were able to travel in the dark realm. So we find out today People are all are there looking for an altered state of consciousness. And Chris, I know you want you would like to take that, so I'm, I'm gonna just leave it right there. If you want to share something about that. Well, you're you're totally right. Um, and also, since we're on on opium and drugs, the rise in the usage of flaca and bath salts. Take a oh look on God. the internet. Take a look on the internet. The people have compilations of the news reports on flaca yes. and and bath salts, and it will blow your mind what's going on in our inner cities, and not just the inner cities, people in other rural areas where people they look demon possessed, and I think they are. I'm talking about superhuman <laughs> strength, exactly. <laughs> Bursting through windows, window. yeah, running naked, screaming their heads off because one one person described it it's like swallowing liquid demon or and another one said it was the darkest feeling he's ever felt in his life it was just like an overpowering darkness that's the spiritual realm at least the dark part of it and you just look at the videos look these people are totally out of control and this is what you have to protect your kids from because you know these kids experiment and they get, oh, yeah. you know, handed things. Imagine these are adults. What? How? What would? A, what? How will the mind, the mind of a child, or the psyche of a child change once injecting or in, in, in ingesting something like this? Because back in the day it was coke, heroin, marijuana. Then we had PCP, LSD. Acid and acid is LSD. They're bad. This is worse. Think about that. I had a I had a friend tell me one time, I wanted to kill my brother because his face changed right in front of me when I was on acid. So imagine that that was the thing you wanted to stay away from, and they made is that something the same as that bath salt. Chris? Bath salt is is not. I don't think it's the same as flock. I think flock is like the next level, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't know that. And in fact, in some of in some of the videos, people are walking around like zombies, just walking around slow. Are, are rolling, Chris. They're rolling on the ground. Rolling on the ground and, too. Chris, you brought up a, a valid point, and I gotta share this. Today, they have some dances that are out there. These dances that the young people are now doing. Take a look at a guy on flacker or on drugs and look and see if it's not the um, the same thing. You have some. I, I saw some compilations on YouTube and I looked at it and I'm like, wow, those are the dances where they so they put their two feet a certain way and they're they're rocking their body right. and they're you know <laughs> and I look at that and I'm like, man, look at this. You yeah. know, so the, <laughs> what I'm saying is that they're glorifying to me. I'm talking about to me based off of what I have seen, the assessment that I have done, they're glorifying this thing. 
And Chris, you touched on Flocka, but there's so many, so much more. There are enough yeah. stuff taking marijuana and using road spray, and mm-hmm. and and and, and spring. I'm sorry, did you road. say road spray? Yeah. yeah, road spray. Oh my god! get a different type of high. It's all about These the chemicals. Are, what's that? It says it's all about the chemicals. Exactly. These are the things that people are doing. This is how far they're gone. So when I, when I talk about an altered state of consciousness, it's a total altered state of consciousness. Really trying yes. to open the third eye. And this is, what, this is, this is where, how, Chris, we, we, we can't spend all that on this, man. <laughs> we <gotta laughs> we're, actually, we're, we're actually going to revisit this subject this year. Uh, we, we, were, okay. we were trying our best to cover it last year, but so much stuff came out. But we're going to do a whole show on it drugs and shamanism and 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 what these things do to bring you into an altered state of consciousness including yoga hinduism buddhism uh, we're gonna have a good show on, uh, on that subject so many things <laughs> so many things so i lost my place here i'm sorry uh, so we talked about um pizza gate last week uh, a little bit spirit cooking uh and but the people involved in these things were political officials. That's news, man. That's fake news, man. <laughs> it's not really real, right? Of yeah. course it is. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's interesting because this is the stuff that's being kept, you know, the title of the show. Part of it is what they don't want you to know. They don't want you to know about the big pedophile rings. They don't want you to know that they were arrested uh, and and at the uh, Super Bowl events. At the events, they arrested people involved in child sexual trafficking at the Super Bowl. It's not hidden. It's I didn't find that in a book. It's in the news. It's in the news, but it's so covered. It's, it just goes by quickly because they, they're they're distracting you with other things. And so anyway, um, we covered that a little bit last week. Um, and so, but we have uh, fake hate crimes uh, blamed on. No, you know what? I'm not even gonna go there yet. You you had ISIS finding more interesting ways to kill people. And if you know anything, what's going on over? In the other countries, uh, Christians are being slaughtered, literally torn in half. Um, children are getting torn in half. It's it's it's. I can't even mention some of the things that that are going on. But 2016 was the year that they found more interesting ways to kill people. Okay, and so we had also. People say that Israel wouldn't be at war with Hezbollah and Hamas, but look, look what's happening. Go, 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 go! Look at the news. See what's happening. See what Obama just did, uh, or is trying to do, with Netanyahu. They're even uh, trying to arrest him. <laughs> um, they're trying to make a two two state. That's what the Bible talks before, about. Before he leaves office. Before he leaves office. Yeah. Before you leave, he's trying to do that, and they're, they're trying to I'm, I'm, divide I'm, the Chris, land. Yeah, Chris, I'm, I'm gonna say we, we're gonna call him by his name, his real name. He is President Obama, because mm. these are the, the people that, based on the Book of Jude, this is how how God has done it. So we're gonna. That's the office that this man holds, mm-hmm. President Obama, but. There are things that he's actually doing that is contrary, totally contrary to the word of God. And I am not the person that's standing behind the word of God. It's God himself. And God says the entire heavens, everything we see, everything that's tangible, and earth will pass away before his word passes away, mm-hmm. before one word passes away. So men, these men in office who are doing these things will have to give an account, not to me, to God, for the things that they're doing. 
That's it. Indeed. You know, you can't divide Israel. You you know, Israel has been around for thousands of years before them. If you go back and look, Israel was there with um, mm-hmm. Abraham. It was there. They were there. They had the land. Because somebody come and put a mosque on there, and I'm going to show you something that most people don't know, that when they're getting ready to pray in that mosque, the mosque that is the Dome of the Rock, right mm-hmm. there, they turn their butts. They turn their butts to the mosque and pray towards Mecca. What's the importance of the mosque? I'm going to just leave that alone. You can check that out on YouTube for yourself. <laughs> the, the question, the question that that people need to ask themselves. I'm telling you, the, the critical thinking is is, is what uh, a lot of uh, people are lacking nowadays, and we have to ask questions: Why, why, why? Keep asking the important questions, even when you read the Bible. Ask the questions: Why? Why did God do this? And you, and He will give you the answers. It's all in there. You just about to say something, right? Hmm? Yeah. People are not. You see, you're saying ask the questions. You're actually asking them to kick against the system. Nobody today wants to actually think. They're not thinking. You know, here's the disconnect. Remember what Jesus Christ said. He said, you know, that we should not only be hearers of the word. In other words, they heard. They're hearing it, but they're not. They're not um, motivated to move. They're not motivated to change the heart. The heart is not changed. So you are just continually living in your stupor. In the book of Proverbs, it says, a dog, if you ever watch a dog long enough, he will return and eat his vomit like a fool Mm. in his folly. So the dog Mm. will vomit and turn back around and eat it again. Mm -hmm. That's the same thing that fool does. You see, like you said, we have to do some critical thinking and ask some serious questions. And I think people have gone to sleep. Right. Yeah, exactly. This is, not uh, the time to sleep. this is the time to pay attention to what's happening around you. Right. And, and you know what? The church, the church on a whole needs to wake up. We, we don't discuss a lot of these issues in our churches. I'm not talking about Sunday morning. It could be on Wednesday night. I really don't. That's not my prerogative. It's just that we need to talk about these things. And, you know, all these things we're listening, not conspiracy theory. These are world events. And they all coincide with each other. And so we had... Um, hey, hey, Chris, Chris yeah. before you move, I got to tell you, you, you said the church. Uh, well, I'm going to try to differentiate a little bit between the church or the known Western church and mm-hmm. the bride of Christ. Right. You see, Christ is coming back for a church without spot or blemish, blemish. or wrinkle. Okay? Mm-hmm. That's what we're talking about here. And a lot of people who live here in the West, we do, we have taken on a culture that is not of Christ. You see, we are only right. soldiers, only passing through. This is not it for us. Hmm. This is not it. This is what Amen. begins with America is not creme de la creme. There, there is more to come. It's appointed unto man once to live, and after that there is a judgment for everybody. We came in with our, with our hands folded like babies. You know, when babies, they, they can't open their fingers. It's all like a fist, and we basically leave with our hands straight open. We can't take nothing with us, nothing. And we only yes. live once. Indeed. I've never seen a person twice. Hmm. <laughs> Well, you know, but, but. <laughs> it's an interesting time we're living in, Rory. And um, again, people just need to wake up. Uh, people that are that think they're saved and they're not. They need to find out who Jesus really is. The people that are saved and um, let me just say it's that the ones that are lollygagging and not getting that spiritual growth that they need to even see the evil that are going along with this world system. You're saved, but you're still going along with this world system. You need to dig into that Bible and see what the Lord says. Go into Colossians 3. Read that. Read that. I think you've done that. 
<laughs> Been there, done that. I, I didn't buy the t-shirt though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so um, I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to give us a, a straightforward line here, but it's like it's, it's so hard, you know. Uh, we have here um, that the the things are heating up in the Middle East, uh, especially after Russia and Turkey joined forces. Now, if you know about the Middle East, most of the Middle East uh, Islamic countries have been overthrown, destabilized whatever if just go look at the pocket of the of the middle east and go do some research on each country and what happened to them over the past several years you'll see what's going on but uh it, isis rose information has come out plenty of times about who's behind isis and it comes right back to our american government not conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory even yesterday was an explosion of information about a leaked audio about obama and whoever else that was involved and so we have Russia and, and joining forces to take out ISIS. And people are saying that, oh, uh, you know, they're saying all sorts of things. You know, I'm not going to go into all that. But it's an interesting uh, caveat. Rory? <clears throat> well, <clears throat> there's a whole lot going on. A whole lot going on there. And <laughs> I know it's pretty easy laughing. But, you know, <laughs> What amazes me how dumb we have become. Um, dumb in the sense that <clears throat> we had these guys from ISIS driving around in Humvees and Toyota Corollas. And they were <laughs> getting like almost a trillion dollars a year or something like that from oil revenue. What? <laughs> Play the whole time on. Back it up. Where did they, the, the the guy who did the uh, the shooting, one of the shooting, the the the, uh, the Paris shooting, he was able to drive out and went back to Belgium, and the picture they have of him, he was standing beside an American Humvee. How does that happen? Where did the funnel come from? The questions you gotta ask. Who <laughs> made it from our country? Then you say, wait, wait, hold on a minute, we're not done yet. Then you say, well, okay, okay, but well, let's go back a, a little bit more and let's let's look at Benghazi. Oh, what about Benghazi? Well, Benghazi is not the capital of um, the capital city of um, what was the, what was the, what's the name of that country that he was? I can't even remember the name of it, where Gaddafi came from. <clears throat> All right, Benghazi wasn't the capital. It's actually the capital of the country is Tripoli. How come the Americans had an outpost in Benghazi? Oh, oh, that wasn't necessarily the consulate. You see, the real consulate is in Tripoli. Why was he in Benghazi? Oh, mm. okay. Hmm. Why was there an outpost in Benghazi? What were we doing? What kind of business were we doing that we had to do it not in the capital city, of Tripoli, but we were in the city of Benghazi. Okay, all right. So I'm just leaving that up. And you can say whatever you want. Hey, go do your own research. Go and look into it for yourself. Formulate your own opinion. And then maybe you can come back and you can ask some questions on, on, on the, on the, uh, in the chat room. Or you can even yell and scream at me in caps on the, in the chat room and say, man, you don't know what you're talking about. But go back and look. And see exactly what are we doing in these places? Yeah. Uh, then um, I can't remember which leader it was. I don't have it in front of me, but someone in the high, higher ranks in um, France said that the people should get used to terrorism. You see, they know something is going on. We can't put our finger on it, all of it anyway. But they know. He said, get used to terrorism. This is the same place we talked about, or one of the places, where they had a huge influx of Islamic people. I don't think all of them are terrorists, but they're in there. you know. And in fact, in, uh, I think it was Paris, look, go look up uh, videos about the, 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 the um, refugees on, the Paris, on Paris streets and how they were causing all sorts of commotion um, yep. the, the Paris doesn't look like Open what it women. used to look like. 
there, yeah. yeah. Go look it up. It, My text is on the side of the street. That's not the only place. There are lots of other countries in Europe that they're doing that. Yeah, they're demanding, exactly. They're demanding that they 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 get um, proper care. They're demanding right. that. And and this year we had um, the Brexit, with the British exit, and now other countries like Italy and a few others are trying to get out too. Because they see what ha- what's happening, and we, we they, they they and and uh, we, we could talk about the central banks and how they have control over there. You know, the, these are the, these are different issues that we could spend hours talking about. Um, but you have to pick up some books, people. You have to pick up some books that explains a lot of these um, situations, what it means for the next twenty, thirty years. There's a video. Everything goes back to YouTube, right? <laughs> it's the biggest media outlet on the internet right now. Uh, but you could go on YouTube and look up. Um, I, can't, I don't know the exact name of the video, but it, it it tells you the progression of how the next twenty, thirty years, most of our countries will be Islamic states if God allows that to happen, right? Because we're having mm. our in, our fertility rate is below average. The Muslims no, no, no. don't abort. No, they don't. No, they don't no. abort. No, no, no. Listen, man, what are you talking about, man? In <laughs> Islam, me, right? <laughs> in Islam, you can have, I think, up to four wives. Okay? And you can start from a very early age. And you can, if she's not ready to copulate or to to to, to become intimate, or in the Bible it says to know someone, the man can do something known as thying. Thying. Look it up. It's a part of the belief system. So when these women, a man can have up to three or four wives and he can have all the kids he wants. This is the standard. So it's not that our birth rate is necessarily down. This is a way to increase the population drastically over a period of time. So you have passive and you have the aggressive side. A lot of times yeah. you use the taxi, the aggressive side. But now the other side you're talking about, Chris, is the passive side where you see the man and he'll have a home and he'll have a, one young lady, maybe two or three. And that's why a lot of these guys became fighters and went to Syria and those places to fight. Or right. these these things because you know what these they get these girls you, you you don't believe what I'm saying or I'm I'm lying why did Boko Haram take some 200 girls age <laughs> age, age um pre puberty up why mm-hmm. think about it. why yeah yeah okay. exactly exactly I, I but, but that alone yeah. what's yeah. the harem go look up a harem go look mm-hmm. at what they did in is um in in Islam, thousands of years ago, how they, they take the girls when they're young and they prepare them to be in harems for the sheiks. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, can go, you can go into the Bible no. and look at the book of Esther. Look at the book of Esther. Mm-hmm. It's in there. Yeah, go ahead, Denise. Oh, no, I was going to say, um, that brings me to what I was talking about earlier with someone about Planned Parenthood. Oh, how... we're going to get into that. We're okay. going to get into that. Just, just hold, 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 hold the horse for a second. We're going to get into that very okay. soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we, right, got, but... we got to go there. This is going there. We we going. You should just let her go, Chris. You should just let her go. Wait, right before she goes, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it, it, it's 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 a it's a fact though that around the world our fertility rates are lower. And now think about this. The Bible says, uh, God said for us to be fruitful and multiply. When you see a woman, remember Octomom? She had eight kids. Oh, yeah. It she was, had like a, maybe nine or ten children. It was, yeah, yeah, something. It, I think it was eight, though. But they, it, people saw it as this, this weird thing. Wow, look at Octomom. And anyone that has over two, three kids is a weird thing to people. But that was normal. Not so long ago. And we, we've been programmed by television or, you know, through, because of our busyness and whatever to have one, 
or two. Now we're finding out that some people aren't even having two. So that fertility rate has dropped dramatically. And that is why in the next 20 or 30 years, if God allows, we'll see an overpopulation of Islam. Well, well, I remember, well, Chris, I, re- I was going to say, I remember how the media portrayed her in, in, on the news as such a bad mom. Right. And how could she afford them? And it was her. Yeah, and yeah, and and don't well, don't don't um hold up, hold don't up, be... hold up, hold up now. I gotta <laughs> listen. I gotta tell you, Octomom, it was the circumstances that took place, how she got the kid, and mm-hmm. the doctor that performed the um the surgery for this for the for this young lady who had the eight kids. Remember, she didn't have the means to have these kids, but she wanted to do it. And that's why she is in my book. She was a um, little bit um, eccentric. Yeah. So no, I, I get, I get, I, yeah, I get it. I get all of that. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm just pointing out how weird people thought it was, the the number of kids, and well, and yeah. there were more than one. There were more than one woman that year that had six, yeah. uh, six kids. You know, whatever. But um, but show uh, John and Kate plus eight. They had a bunch of children, mm-hmm. but they didn't get ridiculed because they were married. Yeah, and 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 to to all fairness, there are guys out there that have thirty something kids from about thirty something women. <laughs> so, but the whole thing is, if we're doing it um, in the way that God wanted us to do, we there's so many different variables to it. So you know, I'm not even. But if you want to get into Planned Parenthood, good. But we got to get into some political stuff. We have a little under an hour to go. So let's let's start moving. Ready? Trinice, Planned Parenthood? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, can we get a Planned Parenthood yeah, now yeah. or no now? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh. So they're losing their funding. In fact, I, I was looking at it. They were supposed to lose funding some time ago, but they didn't. Mm-hmm. I think Obamacare yeah. kind of stopped it a little bit. But now it's in CNN news that they are officially losing all funding right and it wasn't um obamacare that stopped it it was the exposed they were getting exposed for selling baby parts yes but initially i think obamacare and i could be wrong but my understanding was obamacare was what stopped them i mean what kept them funding at first until oh, that yeah, came funding, out yeah. it changed the whole yeah it changed the whole program yeah well well, remember the gentleman that who, who did the, the filming when it came out this year or last year that he was the one that was ex- helping to expose the things that were going on in the DNC. DNC. He was totally discredited about doing um, making these videos for Planned Parenthood and how he was um, ridiculed and sidelined for doing so. But through those same videos, we find out the real reason why these the people truth. are doing what they're doing. He told the truth. Yeah. Those videos yeah, were did. accurate, and nobody wanted yeah. to believe it. Exactly. Yeah. And these people are on there. I mean, listen, there's people that have come out of Planned Parenthood that have said the same thing. They became Christian, and they left Planned Parenthood. And people, if you don't know what's what what the root of Planned Parenthood is go look up M A A F A twenty one Mafa twenty one. It's an excellent documentary, giving you the whole elite conspiracy behind the whole Planned Parenthood. Plus, the woman Margaret Sanger that that started it was also a Satanist. She hated um, minorities, and that was the whole setup for Planned Parenthood was to get rid of minorities. But now. In, in, in the times that we're living in, we're seeing an even more satanic involvement where they, they, these people are using baby parts to to warm buildings, to, to, to create electricity in it. I mean, it's just evil, you know? But we've been so programmed, not we, but the people that are just, you know, going after this. I had a person tell me one time, 
Planned Parenthood it can't be that bad. The people inside are nice. Really. I didn't say everybody in Planned Parenthood was an evil person and want to kill babies. And there are people in there just to get a secretary job. You know? And, and what, so, I would say is, what I would say, Chris, is that Satan comes as an angel of light. He yes. doesn't come with thick pork with horns. He comes looking very nice. Yeah. And and so that's one of the one that's actually one of the biggest things that happened last year was the exposure of what was going on with Planned Parenthood, um, and they're they're they they have commercials uh, on the internet. Basically, oh my goodness, it's just disgusting. They 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 they're pushing all sorts of agenda on their website. If you want to go look, go look. Um, but you know you you're gonna have self abortion you you're gonna have these facilities where it, it it's probably already there already where you go in and you there's a desk in front of you and you have a choice to pick the way you want to get the baby uh you know destroyed so anyway that's awesome they are exposed <laughs> and so any any anything else about uh the evilness of this organization that a lot of states are pulling away from now? Well, uh, you know, there's a uh, I, I gotta just tell you this, and I this is back in the day when I used to 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 listen to this type of music. There there was one I think I I can't remember the name of the guy who sings the song, but the only the only thing that comes to mind is the song that says "Murderer, blood is on your shoulders." Oh you yeah, know, <laughs> these people are murderers. And they yeah. have they have, they have made murdering look so innocent, and it's just packaged. Everything that we're doing is repackaged, repackaging things that people don't necessarily see. Right. And just to give you guys a few numbers here, since 1980, worldwide, we've sacrificed one. Point four billion babies wow. to bail. Wow! In a, in America, since Roe versus Wade, that was nineteen seventy three, we've sacrificed fifty nine million babies, wow. and a high percentage of them were black babies. Seventeen million yep. of yep. them are black babies. Yep, and the list goes on and on, and so that's just to give you a little perspective. Uh, it's just it's just heart heart wrenching <laughs> to think about some of these things, and so our national debt is almost twenty trillion. Go to go to us uh, debtclock dot org, and you will see all of the uh, the numbers just calculating right in front of you. But we're almost at twenty trillion. And many of us don't even know what that means. That's a such a high number. <laughs> I'm not even going to get into all the the, the math of it. But anyway, um, also we had Venezuela. Venezuela, the collapse of Venezuela, and people had to run the street, run to the streets to eat dogs, horses, people, yep. whatever they could find to eat. And this is the type of collapse that can come, that will come if, you know, in any socialist, communist environment. When we talk about Agenda 21, Agenda 2030, that's the sort of environment uh, that they're pushing. But they want to put you in little small communities with high rises. If you ever seen the movie Judge Dredd or Dredd, the one that came out, I think, two years ago? Or the, yeah. yeah I remember you, you, that. You'll see that in these communities, in that movie, they were in big, gigantic high rises, and that's where all the action went on. Uh, and and we're going to bring on some experts about uh, the uh, globalism, Agenda Twenty One, depopulation subjects in a few uh, months. So I just want to touch on that a little bit. The collapse of Venezuela. Anything on that, Rory? No, sir. I'm going to just leave that one out. All right. And so. We also have the death of Justice Scalia that went by with oh, any, man, without man, any man, real man. investigation and Come no on, autopsy. Man. No autopsy. Come on. This is man. a justice. Supreme Court Why justice. Why you got to go there, man? Whoa. Wow. 
Why you gotta go there, man? Why you gotta be like that? <laughs> uh, yes, serious issue. That's true. A hundred and ten percent. How could you have a Supreme Court justice pass away and no autopsy? None. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. And you look for two coroners, and one coroner said she can't make it there, and the other one called up on the phone and said, okay, yep, he's dead. Okay. And that's it. That's it. I smell, I, I, it's something smell fishy. <laughs> I, I just don't, I, I am, I'm, a, I'm at a loss. I'm at a loss to see how, how people are doing what they're doing. I just don't understand. I really don't understand. Yeah. And and so um, we have everything going on with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. We're going to stay on this for a little bit because uh, there's many different issues. And then we're going to get into to some other things. But um, tr- the Pope calling Trump on Christian for the things that he's proposing. And here, the Pope is not a Christian. If, if you don't know that out there, I'm sorry. Catholics, if you're listening, the Pope is not a Christian. That's not biblical Christianity. The, the the universal church, the Catholic church, just took the name of Christianity and put it on top of a lot of pagan ideas. Mithraism. Mithraism, yes. And so... Um, well, we got to explain, all... explain what that is. We got to tell people what it is. <laughs> Go ahead. So, Chris, I, I nominate you because you're pretty good at that. So, you know, but you got, we got to tell them the truth. Sun worship. That you're worshiping a baby, not the Lord Jesus Christ. Right. So, Mithra, sun god, December 25th, um, the solstice. I mean, we, it, it, it'll take a, a while to, to really explain all of it, but there's so many different Roman pagan gods and uh it, it's all over the place that that is inside of the Catholic uh, tradition, and and the Pope is also a um, what's the term, Roy? Right? The he's a first Jesuit. He's a Jesuit. The Order of yeah. Jesus. Now they use the name Jesus, but it's not the real Jesus. The Order of Jesus, and they used to go around and and, and murder Christians and other people too. Oh, and Lord. so we, this is our first Jesuit Pope. Think about the order that he's in. And that you could find Jesuit Jesuit um, that have that have gone out of the order, telling you their testimony that they became Christian. So hey, don't believe me. Go look at what these people are saying. Go look at the history. I, find out. What I just wonder why we accepted these these things that they have given us all these different holidays it, and. It's, it's the devil. It's it's the devil and tradition. Um. I, I don't knock anyone for celebrating the birth of Jesus Christ when they celebrate it, um, but I don't participate in the other pagan parts of it. Okay, um, you know we can go on holidays all day, so let, let's we, we got a lot of <laughs> topics to cover. Um, and so also, uh, Pope did was telling Trump that he's wrong for trying to build a wall. Well, people out there, newsflash: the Vatican City is surrounded by a huge wall. The biggest wall. <laughs> I mean, biggest come on. Wall. People don't think. Think. Go and do. Go look for yourself. This is hypocrisy. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and so, move. Who is the Who is the Pope to? First of all, listen to listen. Who is the Pope to be getting into our affairs anyway? It just shows you that the woman that rides the beast. Mm. <laughs> Oh, is, is the, the oh, arm? She is a. Oh man! Oh, she is a now. harlot in the Bible, <laughs> and she will have her hands in every country. Why is the Pope trying to get the Protestants to come back into the Catholic tradition? Yep, yep. That's where Mystery we came Babylon. from. The Mystery mother of Babylon. Babylon. There you go. And so you know that's another topic. So many good topics tonight, <laughs> but we have to keep moving. Just think, people. Think. Go to Revelation. Read your Bible. See what's out there. The right information. And so moving on, we have um, 
Hillary Clinton's private servers that were totally illegal that she never got arrested for and, and the things that are in those emails that no one wants to go look at, <laughs> except for people like, you know, the people that read that, that really want to know the truth. And, and so they, we saw the FBI in the investigation happen, then it went away, then it came back, and then it stopped again. How do you go through 600,000 uh, emails in three days? It's impossible. You can't do it. Agreed. <laughs> you you would have to have so many people going through it with a fine tooth comb. Okay, I know, Rory. Before I move on, you you, you say some things about that. I know you have you're itching. Oh man! <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, we talked about the email, and we got to talk about. We have to talk about Donna Brazil. Mm-hmm, Donna boy. Brazil. The lady that says she's a Christian, the lady that gave the 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 the, the this is a this is fake news flash now, fake news flash. She was the one who gave the questions to Hillary Clinton so she could have a, a, a easier task at answering them or a heads up at answering all these hard questions. How can we do these things and call ourselves ministers of? The Lord, you see, it's not everybody that says, Lord, Lord, shall be able to enter in to the kingdom of the living God. It's not everyone. Because, you see, one of the things we're finding out just from that is that some people are consistently lying. That's yeah. one. Number two, how do you, who, the person who wants to run the entire country, the free world, how could you go against um, the rules and say, you know what, I'm going to do my own little thing on the side here so that so that I can not answer to anybody? Talk about the mm-hmm. server. You're talking about the server. I'm talking about the bleach bit that was used to clean all the files. That's number mm-hmm. one. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the, the phones that were hammered. They use a hammer and destroyed the phones. How do you do that? That's because you have no regard for the people you say you're serving. That's that's one. The other thing is that if you're not well, if you're feeling sick, ill, and not happy or, or whatever it is, and you're passing out, and you want to run for the government of the United States of America, I think you should be honest and tell people. And I know I'm, I've gone on, Chris, so you've got to forgive me. <laughs> Well, uh, all that is true, and we, you know, um, we had the soft coup going on in the government, and then we had a counter coup going on, and at the same time, in the middle of all of that, I got to bring up this audio, (laughs) we had people saying that President, I'm sorry, not President, but um, the runner for the Republican Party would not win the presidency at all. They were sure. They had a plan. No, no, and no. no. Chris, Chris, that was <laughs> fake news, bro. That was fake news. It was. And, and Yeah, all right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but here we go. Let, let's, let's play some of this fake news. Here we go. Which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs> Now, President Obama weighing in, saying yet again that he does not believe that Donald Trump can end up winning this election. Can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. I don't see how he can win. So Donald Trump will lose. And he will then destroy the Republican Party. Can Donald Trump win a general election? Uh, my view is no. You're never going to be president of the United States tough, by insulting yeah. your way to well, the president. Well, let's see. I'm at 42 and you're at 3. So, Doesn't so matter. far, I'm doing better. Doesn't matter. Well, I can't find a single Republican. I talked to probably 12 Republican senators yesterday or, or their representatives. Uh, I couldn't find a single one who now thinks they're going to win. 
Donald Trump is not going to get the nomination. I'd like to support the nominee, but he's not going to be the nominee. That's just not going to happen. Well, I don't think it's likely that Donald Trump will be the nominee. Well, I, he is not going to be the nominee. Well, I'm going to support the Republican nominee, and I'm comfortable that it's not going to be Donald Trump. Donald Trump is not going to get this Republican nomination. So, Jenny, could he actually win? No freaking way! <laughs> Do not tell me that Donald Trump is in this to win this, okay? He's a sideshow. I don't think his plan has anything to do with Latinos. His plan, his strategy is to win the White House without Latinos. I don't think he can do it. Uh, Jorge Ramos, Jorge, thanks. Well, the Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States. All right. So, fake news. Fake news. Well, I guess I was one of the ones fell in the trap because though I voted for him, I did not think for a second he was going to win. Because it, <laughs> well, again, <laughs> I voted for like, him. Yeah. I mean, there's many variables, you know, and we, we, we had a couple shows about it. And even when he started, I didn't believe in him either. Um I, I, I had to do my own research to, to know what I was going to do um, when it came to uh, election time. And so, Rory, any, any words on that before we move on to some other things? Here's one of the things. Beat them at their own game. Here's a guy. He had his own um, everything. He had private events that people were infiltrating and say they were they were actually bigots. People would go there to provoke other people to um to um incite riot incite unrest and you know what one of the persons who did that has been to the white house over 400 times in the space of a year how do we do how do we do these things how do we um say that we are upstanding citizens or we are for truth justice how does it how does that happen i think a lot of people should be totally ashamed of themselves and the things that were done to um, how people were lied to, disenfranchised, cheated, um, how people um, were were just railroaded um, throughout this entire event. It was sad. It was unbelievable. Uh, I could go on for much more, but I'm going to stop right now. And so... Uh after Trump uh, won the election, we had a lot of liberals uh, throwing fits and crying all over the place, and well, then the co- <laughs> and then the colleges started giving them their what quote unquote safe space so they can go and cry when they need to. I mean, what have we come to? Men, we- well, women cry, but the the men crying like women. It, it, it was Look, just... you know, <laughs> I mean, on the really? There, there was something else that came out on The View. And on The View, they were saying that the men who voted for Trump, the wives should withhold sex from them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that's sad. Now, that's so sad for me. I, I, I'm just, I'm appalled yeah. by what I yeah. heard. I, you know, mm-hmm. I don't watch The View, but it came out on um, one of these uh, news channels. Right, and I, I was and it, shocked to see. Yeah, that well, I mean, but the thing is, going with all the liberal, socialist, communist mandate that they have, they don't want men to be men. In fact, now men have to apologize for being men. Think about yeah. that. People are. This is flying over people's heads. These, this news is coming out left and right, and they want men to be more effeminate. They're saying that men need to take on feminism now. What is that? And, she, and you know, on and on, but let's let's move. <laughs> um, so, and then this year, sorry, 2016 is the year that uh, the government collected the most taxes in history. In history. Okay, I'm not going to go too much into it. Just remember that you can go on the same website that I pointed you to, to the usdebtclock.org, and you'll see how much taxes uh, in the one one billion and over dollars collected in two, uh, 2016. Okay, so anyway, and there's more numbers there for you to look at. Um, also, anyone that was investigating Hillary, 
um, that were private citizens died. There's a body yeah. trail behind the Clintons. And if you look it up, you will see over 30-something people over the course of X amount of years, several years, dead. There was even a woman in Haiti that was... 30-something, 30, uh, 30 over 100. Over 100? Okay, my bad. Um, oh. And there's a woman in, in Haiti that was investigating her uh, last year, 2016, and she's dead now. Young lady, saw bright career and everything, went to investigate the wrong person, dead in Haiti. Okay? And so, uh, people, if you want to learn more about the, the Clinton crime family, you, look, you can go and watch um, Clinton Cash, very good documentary. There's another one out there, a movie that just came out. Um, I think it's called um, Hillary's America. You want to go check that out, too. Um, but this is it's very terrible, <laughs> the things going on in the background. And so anyway, um, the, the government tried to seize some land. I can't remember what state it was and what was involved, but then the people stood up against the government, the federal government, and they had to eventually back off. That they were going to seize the land. And in fact, it's talking about seizing land and Agenda 21 and all these things. People are getting uh, harassed left and right. And I can't wait to bring some people on to talk about this. Um, they can't grow food. They can't add on to their houses. All sorts of things going on. And so this is one of the one of the things that happened um, uh, last year about the, the, the land grab. Um, and so moving on into some other territory and make sure I got everything here. Okay. So the, the left wing also praised Fidel Castro, these communists, <laughs> um, on him being one of the greatest leaders of our time in the 20, 20th and 21st century. What about that? We saw Obama oh. and other people. I mean, to look at the plan people, how do you praise somebody like that? How? How? I mean, it's just ridiculous. I mean, the the amount of people just oppressed, killed, and you name it, it can go on and on. And you praise somebody like this. It was that was very interesting to me, Rory, Trinice. Well, I, I'm not even going to say anything. I'm just Fidel is Fidel. He's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's dead, um, but his brother yeah. lives on. These men will have to pay a price for the things that they yes, have, they have done. Everybody yeah. has to pay a price. Pay a price. You know, yes. that's what the word of God says. Everybody will have to mm-hmm. pay a price for the things that they have done in the body. You know, we all have to yeah. give an account for the things that we're doing. Yeah. And so here goes some the, other. The sad part is they don't feel like they will. They just in the moment. You know what I mean? And now that things is going to change. Well, I don't think it's going to change, actually. Well, you know, every 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 sin we commit is always in that moment, you know, whether it's fornication or whatever, you name it. And uh, some people think they're untouchable. Mm. And death will touch and receive all of us, but the, the one that know Christ, death has no power. Think about that. Amen. He defeated death on the cross. And so we gotta we gotta pray for these people that we're talking about. Even even the ones we even deep down inside hate. We can't hate them. We have to pray for them. Yeah. And Hillary Clinton too. All of them. We gotta pray for these people because ultimately they're gonna end up in the place that was made for the devil and his angels. Uh, just moving on. Um, we have. Um, um, sorry, I lost my place here. Um, we have um, forced vaccinations. Plant uh, law was passed in California for forced vaccinations, um, adult vaccinations, and children. And so, you know, whatever starts in California starts to spread everywhere else. So, this is one called for in 2017 and beyond. Uh, because the vaccination, that's a whole other story. We'll bring somebody on to explain all that too. But a lot of the vaccines have toxic. Uh, things in there and autism is being caused by this and other things too. Um, it's just too much to talk about. It's just, but that's one of the things that happened in California, 2016. Um, California near the end of 2016 legalized child prostitution, 
And there's many reasons for it, but ultimately these kids are the ones going to be hurt. Right. So yeah. think about what that means for those those children that have already been through the system of of child sex trafficking. And then um, any words on that? Uh, wait, Chris, I, I had something about um, when you were saying about the vaccination. Uh, one mm-hmm. of the, the things that were um, that happened big 2016 was the Zika virus outbreak. Right. And it, um, it was, I think, in 40 countries, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And um, they say the mysterious thing started from Brazil. Mm-hmm. And, well, and, and, and supposedly it was babies being born with the Zika virus, and it spread it through mosquito bites. Uh, they're lying or to transmitted, you. Sexual transmitted disease. But, they're lying. Um, and then they claim, I think it was March, if I'm correct, if I'm thinking right, that the eight thousand people had was suspected infected with it. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Throughout the U.S. Mm-hmm. and in other countries. Right. So I, I want to know what's the real story. What do you think the real story is about Zika? The real story about Zika is it's a man-made concoction. It's been around for decades, and I personally, my personal opinion is that it was a a soft test. It was a test, um, and it, mm-hmm. and and think about the population. It affected pregnant women more than anything else. Well, yeah, they can they can mess you up. Mess up that baby. Um, I can't really talk about it a lot right now, but it, okay. it's not the story that that you're being told is not the whole story. And this is where it gets into conspiracy, this conspiracy, that. But if you look at the history of the Zika virus, it's nothing new. A lot of people think it's new because they've never heard of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rory? Well, um, Zika. One of the things that we, are, we, we have found out, Chris, uh, in some of the studies that we have done is that a lot of these so-called, a lot of these so-called uh, outbreaks, diseases that are happening throughout the world, um, they're not as they seem on the surface. Um, we had in Africa a couple years ago the Ebola virus that was an outbreak but if we go to these countries that they had the outbreak you will find that they have i think it's a level four um research facility that researching all these different viruses and doing all these things um and it so happened that there was an african doctor um he couldn't he didn't have any um um an antidote for the uh, zika but what he did have he had an antidote, or not an antidote, but he had a a vaccine for the AIDS virus. And that's that's what he used. And they were telling him, you can't use the vaccine for AIDS, or not the vaccine, but the the treatment for AIDS to treat treat the um, Ebola virus. And he said when he gave it to the people, they were living. So... Um, that says to me that most of these things are created in the laboratory. And don't take my word for it. The gentleman who helped to build these labs that they're doing these research, are doing the research, said, said it himself. He said, I was the person who helped to write the laws or put them on the books so they could have these research facilities. Zika? What do I believe about Zika? I believe Zika... Uh, for some reason has taken on a new strand. It's been around for years, but it had never had the impact that it has had on the world as it has today. Just the same as Ebola. Ebola was mixed with the influenza vaccine, influenza virus, and all of a sudden, like people were catching a cold, and they were just dying in Africa. Before these things are used, before these things are used in, um, in the military, they're, they're, they're tried on people, and the people that they normally try these things on are the people in Africa. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. but it's true. Wow. To me. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, there, there are atrocities that that have been done in, in the background that many people just don't know about. 
and wouldn't some of them just wouldn't believe you know and so hey we, we the, the world is waiting for the next pandemic whatever it will be we don't know but we know that the bible talks about pandemics happening in the last days and so um moving on we have canada legalizes certain forms of bestiality what <laughs> yeah, I thought I'd get a what. <laughs> yeah, Canada legalized <laughs> certain forms of bestiality. You go look it up. It's in it's in a lot of uh what, reputable papers and, and news sources. And so I don't want to get into all the gory details, but let's just say stay away from peanut butter and your animals. Okay? Um <laughs> Um this year we saw the confusion of uh sexual genders people want to be called non-binary they don't want you gender fluid they don't want to be labeled as a male or a female uh and there are so many different names so many different genders now made up out of thin air obviously um in facebook i think they have uh either 53 or higher in the number of genders that you can pick when making your profile and other sites are following suit. This is where we've come. This is how far we've gotten into our insanity. There are spiritual deadness, numbness to the truth of how God made us. And it, it goes into the next topic I'm going to talk about in a couple of seconds, uh, a couple of minutes. But this is what's going on, the confusion of genders. Let me not take too much time. Go ahead, Roy. Roy? Yes, sir. Yeah. You want to talk about that? I am going to pass for now. <laughs> Janice? Um, actually, I, I do want to talk about it. I noticed that they are doing a lot of tra- transgender um, bathrooms, like restrooms for transgender. Oh, that's the and next they have subject. the actual. Yeah, because they have the sign, and I saw the first one. I want to say about a week ago already. And I thought, oh, this, no, let me tell you what I did. I said, oh, this is a family bathroom. Come on, Chico. And Tori's like, mama, dad don't say girl or boy. So I backed up out the bathroom. I said, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> we in the wrong bathroom. Yeah. They have transgender. Oh, I can't remember well, where well. I was, but the sign is up already. Mm. Well, remember now that, uh, well, not remember, but think about this. Obama, this is one of the things he ha- he wanted to get passed before he got out of term. Okay? And Target lost $10 billion because they were forcing transgender bathrooms on the customers. Ten. Billion with the and, oh yeah, by the way, it's it's it decided was said it said inclusive restroom. Right. And now you, the the thing that the, the, the mainstream media aren't t- media and telling you is a lot of kids have been harassed by people perpetrating another gender. Mm-hmm. They try to spy on them, take pictures, touch. It's all over the you look it up. It's there. And so here goes the problem again. You disregard what God has put in place towards something that's totally demonic. I don't care who wants to get mad at me about it. <laughs> it's demonic. And now who has to suffer? The kids. Again. It's the same thing over and over again. You look at most of the agendas. Mm-hmm. It's the next generation that's going to suffer or be trained in this sort of thinking and so no, these back in... oh go ahead i'm sorry no no go ahead no no i was going to say back in may i know that obama administration was being sued by um i want to say 10 states mm-hmm. florida was not one of them uh georgia was one i know for a fact and north texas and a couple of other alabama was one and basically they were saying it was unlawful Mm. And that um, it poses legal legal challenges by each state, and um, yeah, so it, they were being sued. I don't know. I really? have to follow up and see what happened, but right, basically, yeah. 
Yeah, it's it's going to be an ongoing issue through this year too because remember last week we talked about pedophobe uh, and it, in fact funny thing is that pedophobia the real term means you're afraid of kids but they're going to use that term to put forth another issue. So anyway, uh, Rory, anything before we move on? No, I'm just I'm just listening. God created two. He created a male and female. That's it. He didn't create no man. All right. That's it. Okay. And All right, so some people don't like it. Even the the government, the president, they don't like it. Uh too bad. So sad. It's just unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. They will reap what they sow. And so um the church has been silent on a lot of these transsexual, homosexual thing because a lot of them are accept, uh, actually embracing it now. So we see the apostasy in the church getting wider or bigger or stronger uh, in, in different denominations. It, 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 no denomination is safe from this. I put it like that. And and so we see that in 2016. We also see Bear moving to buy out. I'm not even sure if it went through yet, but they're, they're moving to acquire Monsanto. Now, Bear in the past um, had a lot to do with what uh, – Hitler was doing in the past numbering system and everything on the Jews and other people. Um, I don't know what they've been up to nowadays, but they're part of big pharma, but they, they move in the buyout, the biggest non GMO company on the planet. And who knows? Everyone knows about Monsanto now. So they, they could possibly change the name. So just look out for that. That's another thing going on in the background. Um, but one of the biggest uh, things I want to talk about tonight, we can spend a couple minutes on this one, is relativism. Because this is what's really one of the issues going on within the, 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 the psyche of people, the mindset of uh, all the issues that we're bringing up here. Because m- m- many people do not care. Uh, we, we, we know about people that said they'll vote for people even if they're a witch. <laughs> even if they're a known witch, they will vote for them. And so we have this mindset of, you know, if, if we, for you, for those of you that don't know what relativism is, it's, it's something like this: to each his own. What's good for you is good for you, and what's good for me is good for me. I have my thinking; you have your thinking. Nothing wrong with that. Let's agree to disagree. That's okay. relativism because there's no absolute. There's no absolute right. with relativism. So whatever is right for you is right for you. Hey, I don't mind you changing your sex to come and hang it out with me. Hey, that's nobody cool. wants to take a stand on the real issues. The natural realism exactly. is the problem. Exactly, and and it goes into the one world religion. You know, the Christlam and everybody get along. All religions lead to the same place. So let's kumbaya together. Relativism is destroying it our communities, our world, but it all goes back to sin, the sin nature. And we look mm-hmm. look at all of these issues that we just pointed out, and we haven't even touched one of the ones we wanted to touch on, which was genetically modified babies. This was the year we saw the first genetically modified babies brought out in the public eye. In a baby UK. born, yeah, a baby born with Three parents. Three parents. You're messing with things that God don't want you to mess with. I really missed that. I surely missed it. I didn't see that one. Yeah. We're looking at the upsurgence of genetically modified humans mixed with animals, hybrid, super soldiers. These are the things going on in the background, people the technology that has been unleashed on us, the genetic warfare, the moving on transcending humanity, the oneness, all of this is leading to the same place, separation from God. Go and look up the articles on genetically modified babies. Uh, Baby born with Three parents, human-animal hybrids. This is not science fiction anymore. We're not crazy. This stuff is out there. And by the time 
the people that are sleeping that are not recognizing these subjects wake up, it'll be hmm. too late. They'll be your next door neighbors. We're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> You're right. We clearly are not there. Yeah. Uh, and Chris, so I missed have... something I want to talk about. Okay, go ahead. Flint water. The 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 the, the facts that we oh, were told. I'm sorry. What'd you say? The water in Michigan. You talking about? Yes, Flint, Michigan. The water. Mm-hmm. Um, it was, I mean, they said, um, I guess 41.6, I want to say, 42% of the residents were, um, first of all, it was in an area that was a poverty area, um, which, you know, that was, that raised the eyebrow by itself. Um, and then they said that this had been going on so long, but they just now brought it to the forefront. But to me, after looking at the facts, <coughs> excuse me, after looking at the facts and all, it seems to me that it is uh, something that kind of like was set up. I yeah. don't know. What's your thoughts, Chris? Actually, that that's one of the stories I missed. I didn't catch that story. Um, well, I'll take it. Um, one of the things that I came across when I was looking at it, it they were saying that um, one of these big companies was involved in this Michigan uh, water uh, thing where the water was being, being diverted to make bottled water. don't know how true it is, but that's what I came across when I was uh, looking into it. Mm. So well, so they're di- diverting the river or something. That's what it is. They're they're using um, one of these facilities or, or something to divert the water for for the people of middle low middle to to um, low low impoverished people. So mm. they're being disenfranchised, and um, that's really what what they said was going on. That's all I found out, and I didn't go any deeper. I just shook my head, and it went on for a very long time. Okay, that was unfortunate. Wow, there's so so much so much more we could we could have uh, uncovered and talked about many issues that we we didn't even get into entertainment that much. <laughs> we 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 have uh, Batman versus Superman, that whole bunch of blasphemy. What, what, what about Trinise? I wanted to hear what she wanted to say before we close off. Sorry, Chris. Oh. Oh, I didn't know she she was uh, still talking. Go ahead. Trinice? Trinice? Can you hear me? Oh, I'm just talking. Not, not, you can't hear me? Not, not, now we can. Oh, that's probably what I Oh, okay, were, great. Okay, I said ahead. I wanted to, I wanted, I really wanted to talk a lot about, well, not a lot, but I wanted to talk about bring that Facebook Twitter up. Oh. And I think uh, that, because um, that's important, because yeah. I keep seeing all these different posts about Mm-hmm. what Facebook is currently doing mm-hmm. and um I don't really know the whole story behind it but Chris do you have any some type of light you can shed on that or, or worry do you well yeah we, we I, I I employ everybody to go to our our show about Facebook it's it's one of our good good shows that doesn't get a lot of views but we cover a lot of information in there but what what basically what Facebook doing is they're becoming the thought police along with Google and Twitter the three big ones and um he was uh the, the zuckerberg was even with angela merkel at a at a function and she asked him how was the censorship coming along and he was like they're working on it and so they're going to start censoring more um uh, they're going to they're going to now tell you what's real news and what's fake news by their opinion with the people that they're gathering around to get this collaborative effort going on. And so um, Facebook is be- becoming one of the biggest or- Orwellian social media uh, outlets out there um, because their facial rec- recognition technology is one of the best on the planet. Think about that. So keep tagging yourself. Keep tagging your friends. This AI <laughs> is learning. It's learning. Okay? That's crazy. And I've talked to law enforcement people that have said they love it. 
because that's where they catch all the criminals. So keep putting information on Facebook. Keep posting pictures of yourself. Keep putting your whole family on there. It's a trap. And there are other companies out there that are doing almost the same thing, but they're not as big as Facebook. Okay? Twitter, Mm -hmm. the same thing. It's the same thing. They will censor you if they don't agree with you, not because what you're saying is wrong or right, but just because they don't agree with you. Okay? And so we see these things growing in the background, but people are so separated from the real information, it it gets cloudy. I wonder why these infrastructures like Facebook start putting these new policies in. Remember the time, I think it was in 2014, 15, somewhere, where Facebook brought out some privacy policy, and they said they get to own all of your information and pictures forever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there was a backlash, and so they took it out of, uh, out of the privacy policy. Where did the money come from for Facebook, CIA, and others? Most of these companies are built on government money. The story that they tell you up front is not the story. And people could call me nuts, but that's what it is, and that's how it is. Okay? Um, so that's a little insight on the social media giant that that's and that's that's the scratch on the surface we're talking about uh virtual reality what what it means how they're going to advertise to you how some of these devices are going to just cause you to have brain tumors whatever okay facebook is the owner of the oculus rift they bought it out for billions not millions billions okay so think about what, they, what, what they're going to mean for your technological future in the coming future, you know, in the, in, the near, in the coming decades, if somebody else doesn't rise up and become the next Facebook. But there's too much invested in the Facebook for it to fall right now. Mm-hmm. So, guys, we have two minutes and 36 seconds. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Wrap it up. Um, I just want to say thanks for everybody that that joined us tonight, and we have some guests that are going to be coming on in the next few weeks. Um, I'm not going to name any names right now, but there are people that you're going to want to listen to, and we're going to announce it as as the weeks go by. Rory? I think it's going to be an interesting year. I thank God for what he's doing. What he's showing us, I uh, thank him for his word. Thank him for the show that is here to enlighten people and to lift people um, out of the doldrums and to get them excited about the word of God and learn the things that are happening before us. That's it. Trinice? Um, I'm just grateful for just being able to continue to learn the word. Um, from people who have continuously taken the time out to study countless hours. So I'm grateful for that. And in addition, I'm grateful for the people who are listening to the show because it is because of you that, you know, we take the time out to, to share this information, all that we are learning as a group. And so that's what I'm grateful and thankful for. Hey, man, I'm just thankful for uh, Jesus dying on the cross and saving us all from hell those that will accept. So if you haven't accepted the true gospel of Jesus Christ, now is the time. Not tomorrow, not next week, not five years from now, not when you're old. It's time. Time is short. Yes. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning in. And good night. Have a great night. Mm-hmm.